fellas, look at this, 244 pounds apiece. That's 488 pounds combined. More beef than a cattle ranch in the circle for this one. Our rule set, three by five minute rounds. The belt will be judged as a whole, scarily so knees to the head of a grounded opponent are legal. Here's Don Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is three five minute rounds of heavyweight MMA. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he stands at 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 244 pounds, holding a mixed martial arts record of 7 wins and 3 losses. Training out of UFD Gym, representing Croatia, Martin Batur. Introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He stands at six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 244 pounds, holding a mixed martial arts record of four wins and only one loss. Training out of Akure MMA Academy, representing the United Kingdom, Paul, King of the North, And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, center up. We've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna keep this clean. Touch gloves, let's do it. It takes a big man to referee the big man, and that's Herb Dean for this one. Set for three rounds. Nobody thinks it will go that far. Paul Elliott said knockout in one. Matua said, knockout in one. Both men are hard, fast starters. Elliot, a 10-week camp. Matua, three-month training camp for his one championship debut. Let's do it. Southpaw starts here on the King of the North, Paul Elliott, in the blue. Outside leg of Gurley from Elliot. Matua's looking really straight up in the air. Let's see how Paul Elliott approaches this and tries to get inside this range. He says he's got to either got to be all the way in or he's got to be all the way out. And he's immediately starting to throw that big left kick of his. Elliott has tremendous flexibility for a big man with the roundhouse kicks and the spinning hook kicks. I like how he's going to the body. I like how Elliott is trying to kick the mid section here of Batur and he's mixing things up as he goes up top too. And Batur is so tall. Oh, the oh, big left hand! Oh, the big kibosh! He dropped him! Here Batur comes Elliot! Batur right back up, though. Batur recovers. I uh, thought he was done for. There's an elbow from Elliot. Cracks him again to the side of the head. A little bit of Muay Thai in the clinch here from the King of the North. What a start! Paul Elliott's got to dig inside these underhooks right here. He's got to try to take one of his arms and slide in between the arms, and he does just that. Let's see if he can do that with two and create a little bit of separation here, because Batua's trying to drag him down. Mitch, that was a clean right hand. I can't believe Batua has recovered from that. Yeah, he did. And then it looked like Elliot kind of woke him up as he continued to smash on him. Now Batua's doing a really smart thing here by closing the distance and trying to get this thing to the ground. Paul Elliott oh. throws him off, and it's with a big left, 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 left hand. Elliott's a house on fire, tags him with the left hook again, and the high kick, the overhand right, the uppercut. Elliott's gotta be composed here. He's gotta slow things down, get his breath back, because he is cracking Batur, and he's taking these best shots. Elliott's gotta be careful not to gas himself out right now. He looks a little bit fatigued. Elliott has unloaded. And there's the right hand from Batua. Now we're going to go to the ground. Elliot tries to get up. Batua wants him on his back. He gets him on his back. Side control. Batua just muscled him down and easily passed the guard to get into side control. Now he's trying to set up possibly a Kimura. Paul Elliott is wise to it. Digs an underhook on the right side. That's going to enable him to get over onto his side. See how he's getting onto his left side now. Now we can start to work. He's got to be careful of the knees right here. Batur chooses to slide around to take the back. Oh, beautiful little butterfly hook there, trying to get the reversal. But Batur did a beautiful job of floating over, staying on top. Now he's in the half guard, looking to advance his position. 
What a first round so far. We're just halfway through it right now. Tremendous action. Here comes those hulking Hannafis strikes as Batua postures up inside of half guard. This is where Batua does his best work, especially in this half guard position. It's a lot better to stay in half guard when you're trying to ground and pound because people can explode off and get you off of them once you get in side control. But now he passes into mount. This is a bad spot for Paul Elliott. Elliott does a quick count of his teeth after that big elbow. Hammerfist strike between the eyes. Full mount position for the Croatian Batua. Elliott, no place to go. Elliott is giving up his gift wrap that arm bar. Look at him, just extending one arm. You don't want to do that. And he's choosing the openings carefully here, Batsur. You can see how heavy Elliot's breathing right now. He's got to relax. He's got to create some space. Start bumping with the hips. Oh, those big angels raining down on Elliot's helpless head. Top of the ear. Elliot forced to move the head from side to side to evade these hammer fist blows. Batsur unrelenting. 90 seconds remaining. Elliot's face is beginning to swell and lump up. And there's another cracking elbow. Looking for the orbital. Boom to the piano. It's all over. Her team says no more. Welcome to Mars Mountain Batur. Wow, what a monster gets dropped. But we thought it was over within the first minute, but then he took it on the chin like a champ. He managed to get back to his feet, get the body lock. He recovered beautifully, and then he started to go to work. After he weathered the storm, though, you know, Dragon, our heavyweight division here at one is absolutely stacked. And here is a new monster to consider. This is where I thought it was over. Who gets up off a punch like that from Paul Elliott? Look at him bouncing right back up. Paul Elliott tried to close the show, but look at Batur. So aware. You know he was rattled, but he got to the finish. Look at this. The elbow started raining down, and he gets the W. Good refereeing there from Herb Dean. Let's go to Dom Lau in a moment to make it all official. My word, that was an absolute shellacking from Batsua, who was almost done for after Elliot knocked him down earlier. Okay, let's go to Dom now. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Herb Dean, has called a stop to this contest after three minutes and 38 seconds in the very first round for your winner by way of technical knockout, Martin Batur! The Croatian flag flying high in Singapore tonight. Doesn't get much higher than the shoulders of Batur. And now the dragon is with the man mountain. I am here with your winner, Martin Batur. You told me earlier this week that this match would be exciting, but you didn't say it was going to be so dramatic. You got cracked. How bad were you hurt? A little. Not too much. <laughs> I don't know. I come back and I finish the fight. But he's a good fighter, speed. I accept he was a big speed, but not that speed. Yeah, he was ultra fast, but you had a great game plan. You got in tight, you cleared the cobwebs, but then once you got it to the ground, you just started to unload. How did it feel to be on top and really started landing those elbows? I feel good. I feel stability. I feel everything punch, control, and that's it. Yeah, take a look up here at the big screen. Did you know it was pretty much finished once you started landing those elbows like that? What? Did you know it was finished once you started landing those yeah. elbows? I see in the, the him eyes, he go, yeah. you know, and I feel, I feel it's over and just keep going and that's it. Man, it was a great performance. It was so good that you just won yourself $50,000 from the chairman, oh. founder, and CEO of one championship, Thank Mr. Chachri Sidyatong. Thank you, boss. It's mean a lot to me. My family, my everything, thank you. Thank you, boss. It was a great performance. How soon can we see you back inside the circle? For me, tomorrow. <laughs> it's not a problem. We can't wait to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Martin Batur.